Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to go uh, over a quick issue that we're seeing a lot with these uh, S400s, uh, Mercedes Benz S400. You see this one right here. It got shipped all the way from California to uh, Maryland from coast to coast. So we can uh, uh, diagnose that and fix it. So that vehicle, uh, what the problem was there is was the power electronic module. It has only about 77,000 miles. This is the power electronic module, what uh, mounts right on the side of the transmission on the passenger side. We have a video on how to replace it. You can see some we have replaced in the past. Um, and the most common issue with these cars is that the power electronic module and this part inside, um, there's, a, there's some contacts right here in the circuit board be below that. They completely like burn up and separate. And that's what goes, uh, that's what happened with all of these. We have, um, now we've diagnosed troubleshoot a number of S400. Now, this is the most common problem. So what happens if these cars sit for a long time, uh, if the, at the time that the, this problem occurred, the hybrid battery was, uh, let's say at only 40% charge or maybe 30% charge. If that hybrid battery drops even before, uh, below that, because the car usually tends to sit for a while until it's diagnosed, then, um, uh, what happens is the hybrid battery might discharge too low and then even after you replace this the car still doesn't charge There's ways to force that uh, hybrid battery to charge um, But um, you you need the, the right tools to do that um, A lot of times though we're seeing we have a s 400 here um, that got shipped to us to, to diagnose uh, is that um, They had spent thirteen hundred dollars just on the diagnosis itself uh, Honestly, if if you have experience with these vehicles, if a shop that knows um, uh, what they're doing is as soon as you read the codes with a scanner that can go into the various modules and read the fault codes, it makes it's very clear what's wrong. And you also can also see uh, the percentage the high voltage battery does shut off once the problem occurs, but you can see uh, what voltage the high, high voltage battery has and then um, it, be able to tell the customer that hey we're going to replace this but um, let's say there's codes in the um, BMS or the battery management system or the battery is too discharged and um, when they get the battery gets down to zero it gets, becomes a little harder to charge that battery but um, yeah you can diagnose these cars with just um, reading the codes without even really pulling anything apart. We've seen that a few times where shops have just take take this apart, take that, or they tell the customer, we gotta replace this, but then after we gotta see, we need, first need to replace that, and then we'll tell you if we can start it. I mean, honestly, you can, you can diagnose the car, and if you have experience, uh, you can diagnose and be able to tell the customer that this is bad, and if the high voltage battery is too low, you should be able to tell them before you even replace anything. Um, but it just takes experience and uh, we understand there's a limited number of places that work on these cars and um, if you have the codes we have another video where we show you how to read the codes from which modules you should read the codes and then you can go to ucani.com and then you can submit your codes there and there's a support tab um, so and then we can more than happy to tell you uh, what is going on with your car if not uh, we can um, even diagnose your vehicle remotely if you need help with that but um, yeah that's it I just wanted to do this quick video because yeah we're seeing a lot of cases where um, uh, just uh, due to lack of experience on these hybrids um, uh, which it just takes a while to figure out what's wrong for someone who hasn't worked with them before um, we're seeing people who say that the capacitors are bad. We haven't had a problem with capacitors. We've done a lot of them. It's not really the capacitors that go bad. It's this parts right here. You can see we have a bunch of them. and um, So that's what really goes bad. So well, hopefully this helps someone. And thank you for watching Ucanic. Make sure to check out our website. Thanks.